everybody. It's me, Miss Anna from the Quinnon Street Project here to give you your third digital drama class during our school closure. So let's go ahead and review everything that we've done before. So again, this is for my Murphy second grade class and I hope you all are doing well. I miss you terribly. And I really hope I get to see all of your beautiful faces again very, very soon. All right, so let's review. Back to lesson one, we are working on the sandwich swap. Lesson two, we learned about ensemble, which means working together. Ensemble means working, very good. Number three, we talked about movement and we did pantomime and tableau. Remember, pantomime is a silent moving picture and tableau is a silent frozen picture. So let's show me a pantomime of um, uh, whipping, whipping egg whites. Or maybe you have a hand mixer. Maybe it's on a counter. And now show me a tableau of eating whatever that delicious dessert is gonna be. Show me a tableau, ready, three, two, one. Good job, everybody. Third lesson, or that's the third lesson, fourth lesson, we talked about beginning, middle, and end, about how all stories have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Every single story, ever told has those three elements, including the sandwich swap. Let's see, we also talked about our first class here, we talked about dialogue versus narrative. That was our lesson five. And then last time, remember dialogue is when a character is speaking and narrative is when the storyteller is speaking. So in our case, a narrator versus a character, right? And then last time I saw you, we talked about, what did we talk about? Dialogue versus narrative. And then last week we talked about, why am I blanking? I know you're yelling it at me because you remember what it was. Voice, of course, character voices, our low belly voices, our powerful chest voices, and our nose voice. So let's review those. So we have our belly voice, and with our belly voice, we go, put them up, put them up. With our chest voice, we say, I am the great and powerful Oz. And with our nose voice, we say, I'll get you, my pretty. And with our tip-top head voice, we say, follow the yellow brick road. <coughs> Very good. Excuse me. I got some <clears throat> something in my throat. I'm healthy. Don't worry. It's just something in my throat. So today, today is one of my favorite lessons. And folks at Grown Ups at Home, you are going to love this game. Everyone loves this game. Uh, so we're gonna learn some about emotions and feelings today. And I know that at the top of every lesson, we always talk about emotions and feelings because we always check in about how our emotions and feelings are on that particular day. And I know that I've talked a little bit about what an emotion or a feeling is versus a, I know I've talked about um, <clears throat> states of being and maybe feeling like something, which is more of like a simile rather than what your true emotion is. Your emotions can come from feeling like things. So we're gonna talk a lot about that today and we're gonna explore some different emotions. Okay, so let's go ahead and check in. My name is Miss Anna and I'm feeling fantastic. And I remember, I don't know if we've done this on this before, but we go like this. If we don't have, normally if we have desks, we put our hand in front of us like that. All right, so I'm gonna ask you, what is your name and how are you feeling today? Thank you so much for sharing. Grownups, how are you feeling today? Okay, thank you so much for sharing that. I heard a lot of different things. I heard some positive emotions and feelings. I heard some negative emotions and feelings. I heard some maybe kind of in between where we just kind of feel fine or, you know, we don't feel like we're gonna go have a party, but we also don't feel like just laying down and crying. So there's in, in between emotions too, and those are, absolutely as valid as any other emotions and feelings that you have. So let's remind ourselves of our three tools of an actor. Ready? First one is our, ready? Let's say it together. Body. Next one is our voice. And the last is imagination. 
fantastic. Let's go ahead and warm up those tools. Go ahead and look up at the ceiling. Reach for something you really, really want on that ceiling. Reach one hand a little higher and switch and switch and switch and both hands all the way up. Drop your fingers, drop your wrists, drop your elbows, drop your shoulders. Shoulders back up, breathe in, out and down, up and in, out and down, up and in, out and down. Fantastic, giant imaginary crayons ready. Pop them under your heads. Draw me some big, beautiful circles on the ceiling. Nice and slow. I know that we're drawing circles, but we also want to make sure that we're taking very good care of our head and neck. Switch. Thank you, fantastic work. Lovely, once you've done a couple of circles in each direction, remember we want to go nice and slow. Take that crayon off of your head, break it in half. Put half on the shoulder, half on the shoulder. Draw me some circles forward and forward and forward. Freeze. And back and back and back. Thank you. Take your crayons off your shoulders. Put them back together. Put them away and say, see you next time. Fantastic. Show me some big puffy superhero chests and some evil nasty villain chests and superheroes and villains, superheroes, villains, superheroes and give me a superhero pose. Ready? Three, two, one, freeze. And villains, give me a villain pose. Three, two, one, freeze. Good. <laughs> Lovely. All right. I don't think we made energy balls last week and I love making energy balls. So let's go ahead and clap and rub our hands. Thank you. And once your hands are feeling really, really hot, you're gonna let go and feel all that warm energy between your hands. Good, and with this energy, you're gonna pat, 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 pat. Make sure you've washed your hands before doing this, even though we're not gonna touch our faces. I patted my back and my front and my top and my bottom. We're gonna clap and rub one more time. And this time, let go. Feel all that warm energy and brush this time. Almost like you're brushing off any negative energy, huh? Good job. And shake out your hands. Good, shake your shoulders. Good work. All right, let's, I don't think we've ever done this one either, but we do it in my classroom. And I don't think I've done it in a vis uh, virtual lesson yet. So here's what I would like you to do. I'd like you to take a box of string. Now again, this is for healthy days to do this. So we're gonna do it the way that I normally do it, but you're not going to touch your face and you are not going to actually lick anything, but we are gonna pretend that we're licking things, okay? So you're gonna open up your imaginary box. Now inside of this box are all invisible pieces of string and you're gonna take a piece of string out and you're gonna pretend to lick it like this. Good, see I didn't touch anything and I'm gonna throw it and it's gonna stick to my forehead. Good, we're not touching our face. Take another piece out, lick it, stick it to your nose. Good, take another piece out, lick it. Stick it to your chin. Good, take another piece out, lick it. Stick it to your cheek. Good, take another piece out, lick it. Stick it to your cheek. Good, close your box, put it away. Gather up all your strings, pull your face forward. And up. And down. And this way. And that way. And all around. And other way. And forward. Take your scissors, cut your strings. Very good. And normally I would have you brush off your extra strings. Just fan them off. Don't touch your face. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and warm up our voices the way that we kind of did last week and a little bit earlier today. So we're going to uh, blow out our lips like horses. Remember, you're repeating after me. You're going to add some sound. Good, throw a baseball with me. Fantastic, throw a football with me. And a basketball. Ba 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 ba. Da 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 da. Go 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 go. Ba da ga. Ba da ga. Ba da ga ba da ga ba da ga ba. Pa 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 pa. Ta 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 ta. Ka 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 ka, pataka, pataka, pataka 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 pa. 
Unique New York. Unique New York. You know you need. Unique New York. Unique New York, unique New York. You know you need unique New York. How'd you do? Third week, a little bit better? Getting there? Fantastic. If not, that's okay. We got nothing but time to practice. Let's do a new one. Let's do, um... oh, I scratched my face. It's okay. My hands are washed. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Yellow leather, red. Okay, we're gonna do three red leather, yellow leathers and a yellow leather, red. Ready? Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, yellow leather, red. How'd it go? Awesome. Proud of you regardless. All right, let's dive into this game today. Here is what we are doing today. So this game is normally very, very popular in the classroom. Again, we do not have the full amount of participants as we normally would. Even Jenna was not here today. She's in the bedroom having a sleep. So I can't even make her pretend with me, but that's okay. We're gonna be just fine. This game will work just as well. So here is what this game is. We are going to play Emotional Taxi. Now what that means is I am going to pretend, I'm gonna start and I'm gonna pretend, I'm gonna pantomime that I am driving a car. Actually, I'm gonna go this way because um, you're gonna be my passenger. Oh, I guess for you all, hmm, no. Either way, one version we're in London and one version we're in the United States. So imagine we're wherever. So I'm driving a car and I see somebody. You're the somebody that I'm seeing. And that somebody is going, taxi, taxi, okay? Now, the special thing about who you are in this game is you are going to say all of your lines. Remember, this is a dialogue game. There is no narrative in this game, just dialogue. And we both have a lot of lines to say. All of your lines are going to be said in one of three emotions. Now, if you wanna do a bonus round where you think of another emotion, Lovely, love it, fantastic. We can talk about that. But for now, I want you to pick. Now this is extra fun because normally I pick who's what. And since you're without me, you can pick whatever you want. So I want you to pick either happy, sad, or angry. And I want us to remember if we pick angry, we're not yelling. There's a way to be angry without yelling. I can be very, very angry without a very loud voice. And I can be so sad without using much sound either. But I can be so happy whether I'm making a lot of sound too. You don't wanna make everybody in your house have to listen to every line of your game. So we wanna make sure that we're being respectful just like we would be in the classroom. No yelling in the classroom either. So, okay, are you ready? Pick happy, sad, or angry, okay? Now I am driving and I'm going to see you and you're going to say, taxi, taxi, ready, go. Oh, and I'm going to pantomime pulling the car over. I'm gonna pantomime opening up the door for you. You are going to pantomime getting in the car, have a seat next to me, put on your seatbelt, pantomime putting your seatbelt on. And I'm gonna ask you, where do you want to go? And you at home are going to come up with some place that you are going. It can be anywhere in the entire world. There's no quarantine or any kind of diseases in this world because it's imaginary. So you can go, you don't have to stay home. You can go literally anywhere. Where would you like to go? Fantastic. Now, if you remembered that you are feeling a particular emotion, 10 points, and if you forgot, also 10 points, honestly, because I'm here to remind you. So go ahead and say where you are going again in whatever emotion you have chosen, happy, sad, or angry. So I'm gonna say again, where do you wanna go? 
Thank you. Now, I normally would respond and take on whatever emotion I'm getting from my passenger. So I'm gonna assume that my passenger has decided to be happy. And I'm gonna say right away, and I'm going to happily drive my car. Now, you all can do this as many times as you want. Normally, we have four volunteers, one person, one volunteer is the driver, and then we have three volunteers for happy, sad, and angry. And we do multiple rounds so that everyone gets to try at least one thing and we use our voices and our bodies to show these emotions. So at home, go ahead and hit pause and uh, play this game as many times as you want. You can drive if you want. Remember, if you're the driver, you get to take on whatever emotions. And also, I'm gonna do one more round with me as the driver, and I'm gonna tell you all that this is your opportunity to pick a completely different emotion, not happy, sad, or angry. Come up with another one. Think of, I like to think about the movie Inside Out sometimes. Maybe you're disgusted or maybe you are, um, who are some of the other ones? There's anger, there's joy, there's sadness. What's the purple one? You will probably remember more than I do. Is he worried? I don't remember. He's Bill Hader. I know the actor is Bill Hader and he's purple. So whatever that purple guy is, I don't remember. <laughs> Um, so I'm driving the car and I see you and you have your wild card emotion, whatever emotion it is. And you say, taxi, taxi in that emotion. Thank you. And I'm going to pull over and I open up your door and you get in and buckle your seatbelt. Thank you. And I'm going to say, where do you want to go? Right away. Awesome. Again, you can pause this and do this as much as you want. We are focusing on using our three tools of an actor to bring these emotions to life. So grownups, use the tools that we used last week with your student and help them think about, does sad need to be in your nose? Does anger live way down in your belly? Think about how to use your voice. Do you get low? Do you use your body high? Like where in your three tools do these emotions live? And play as many rounds as you want. Now, since we are, since this video is specifically for my classroom, and again, my classroom is working on the sandwich swap by Her Majesty Queen Renia Al Abdullah from um, Jordan. I'm gonna go through, I'm not gonna read the whole story today because you've heard me read the whole story and frankly, it's copyright. And you know, I respect this material and I don't wanna keep making videos of me reading the whole thing. But uh, if you need the whole text for educational purposes, I can help with that. Just email me and I'll be able to help. But um, right now we're just going to kind of go over which emotions are in this story. And um, I want you to think about if you are playing one of these roles. Now, this is also a week that we would start staging our story, that I would start casting students as Lily and Salma and the other kids and the teachers and the principal and we would start using our uh, tableau and our pantomime and all kinds of things to bring this story to life on its actual feet. So if you want to be able to do that at home, let me know, but you don't have to. Assuming that I get to see you all in person again, we will deal with that when the time comes, okay? And if not, just play it, play the game at home. It's easy. You can then you can be whoever you want, and then I don't have to pick, and you don't have to be sad if it's not what you want. All right. So at the beginning, our two main characters are best friends. So what are some emotions that come up for best friends? What are some things that you feel when you're with your best friend? I know for me, when I'm with my best friends. I laugh a lot and laughter usually comes when you're feeling happy. So I feel a lot of happiness when I'm with my dearest friends and my family too. So we have happiness and we have, let's see, then we have the emotion where what kind of emotion is tied to thinking something negative about your friend's things because they don't think anything negative about what they look like, right? They're really only having negative experiences 
on things that they're not quite sure about. What emotion is that? If you had to put a label on it, what do you think that is? I feel like those are all really good answers. And I also think that one of those emotions that you can feel is um, concern. I think there's a little bit in the story that Salma and Lily are worried. Remember, they, it says that they feel badly that their friend has to eat that. So there's a little bit of worry and concern, but then it kind of turns into an intolerance, right? It turns into something that they don't want to learn more about that they don't know about. And instead of being curious and being an active learner, they kind of just back off and decide that they don't want to participate in learning more about their friend or what their friend's food choices are like. So then we have in the middle, remember in the middle of the story is where the problem happens. What is that emotion? Once we get right before the food fight, and in the food fight, what are th what's that emotion? What emotions are Lily and Salma feeling? They've both been insulted. Their best friend has accidentally insulted them. They may not be thinking about whether or not it's an accident. They may just be feeling sad that their that their um, friend doesn't think that their food looks good. But then we get into a really big emotion that we've already talked about, which is anger. We have a lot of anger. And sometimes anger can really come from not asking questions and not finding out the truth about things and making assumptions about, about your friends, about people you love, and about strangers. And we get, there's a lot of anger here. The food fight, honestly though, probably once we get to the food fight, I wonder, and you may wonder too, I wonder if some people are happy though because they're excited and they think the food fight's funny. I bet there are some people that think it's funny, but a lot of people are really angry and probably some people are scared and some people are hurt or sad. I bet there's a lot of emotions and feelings in the food fight. If I was stuck in a food fight, I'd be very worried about my clothes getting messed up and I'd be grossed out about having to take a shower when I got home. <laughs> How would you feel if you were in a food fight? Okay, this is big feelings. Now, this in my classroom is an emotion that we have talked about a lot. And this is a very strong emotion and feeling that is in this story, which is when Lily and Salma get called to the principal's office, the word that the author uses is ashamed, to feel ashamed. And I really want us to think about a time that we have felt ashamed of something we did. When you feel badly that you hurt somebody or that you made a bad decision, or sometimes you can feel ashamed about accidents, but typically being ashamed and shame comes from feeling, knowing that you've done something wrong and realizing that it's done harm, right? To feel ashamed. Think about that emotion. That's a really strong an important emotion in this in this story. And then at the end, so then there's a really important emotion that both Lily and Salma experience toward the end, which is, I think, courage and bravery. Where after they've experienced their shame and they've done their detention and they've apologized, then they have to do something really brave and they use their courage and their bravery to actually try the other person's sandwich, right? To actually dive in and throw away all your fears and throw away all those things that you were not being kind about and trying something new. And it works out really well for both of them. They both really like each other's sandwiches in the end. And from there, we get to the final emotion and feeling, which is happiness, but I think you could also call it gratitude, that you are grateful that all of your, your fellow classmates and all of these people have come together so that you can have this big food festival and you've learned about 
each other and you've learned about your families and you've learned all kinds of things about humanity. And I think there's a lot of gratitude that comes with that, which is definitely an emotion and a feeling. All right, I know that was a lot of thinking. So what I would like you to do now is pick one of the emotions and the feelings from the book. We talked about ashamed, we talked about gratitude, we talked about just happiness, having fun with your friend, we talked about sadness, we talked about anger, we talked about um, being intolerant, we talked about being curious, we talked a lot about emotions and feelings, and I want you to pick one, and I want you to show me a full body tableau, a frozen picture of that emotion, and I really want to see it. Ready? Three, two, one, freeze. Okay, now I want you to switch to a different one. Ready? Three, two, one, freeze. Thank you. And last one, pick another one, a random one, something else. Ready? Three, two, one, freeze. Now, from your frozen position, where you are, I want you to do a pantomime. Remember, pantomimes are silent, 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 silent. But I want you to show me a pantomime with an emotion. Pick what emotion you'd feel. Show me a pantomime of the food fight. Ready, go. Make sure you're doing your full emotion. Good, and freeze, turn into, an, into a, a tableau. Freeze, good, and say food fight in whatever emotion you have picked. Ready, three, two, one. Amazing work. Thank you so much. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Beautiful. Whew. I know that was a lot of thinking today and that was a lot of um, kind of hard conversations today. This is a really important lesson. And it's uh, one of the ones that, you know, we do emotional taxi and we get up and we get silly and then we have to do a lot of thinking and a lot of talking and discussing. So I really encourage grownups Keep having these conversations with your young learner. We love talking about emotions and feelings in theater. It's one of the things we're best at. <laughs> so uh, I encourage you to pick other stories. You don't have to use the one that we've been using in our classroom. You can pick any other story. And talk about what emotions and feelings are in that story. And talk about times that you've had those emotions and feelings too. Because we feel things all the time. That's why we check in every day. So because of that, I would like to do a check out today. Since we talked about emotions and feelings, let's think back to our check in, how we felt at our check in. And I said that my name was Miss Anna and I felt fantastic. And so now it's been 28 minutes. It's a long time. I've been talking for all 28. Now let me think about, I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to really think about how I'm feeling now. I am feeling grateful. I'm feeling grateful for you and I'm feeling grateful for being able to bring these virtual lessons to you. How are you feeling now after the lesson? All right. And grown up, how are you feeling after your little lesson? Beautiful. Thank you so much, everybody. Fantastic work. Give me another round of applause. Awesome. And we're going to put our hands in front. We're going to say drama class on three. Ready? Three two, one, drama class. Awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. See you next week.